prior to this week, I was running to no plan, no program for a couple of months. And that was because I'd sort of lost the joy of running. And I didn't want to have any structure, no pressure to go out and complete sessions. So I thought, let's just throw everything out, go out and run for as long or as short as I like, and just see what happens. Don't get me wrong, I'm a strong advocate for structure in your running. But what's that saying? Fail to plan, plan to fail. You do have to have some sort of outcome you want to get from your running. But I felt like I was in such a deep running funk that I just needed to take the lid off the jar, turn it upside down, shake the contents out, and just see what came out. And that was bloody perfect because I started to enjoy running again. And I just went out and ran by feel. Didn't go out with any set agenda and it just worked. And it was just what I needed. But if you've been following the channel for oh, a long time, you know that I do like a bit of structure in my running too. So having those couple of months of just nothing on the books has just wet my appetite again to start getting a bit of structure back. And that's what this week has been all about. Just let me cross this road. Whoop. While I'm not ready to get back into a program or a plan or a training block, I was ready to get a little bit of structure back. So this week has been all about running each run with purpose. So each day I've gone out, bit of traffic, sorry guys, probably a bit noisy. Every run this week has had a purpose and it's been bloody fantastic. I've seen some little improvements. I'm just gonna keep doing this for a little while because no events are coming up, goal races, that I need to worry about jumping into a plan or a training block. So I'm just gonna keep rolling with this. Anyway, that's what this video is all about. Running with purpose. So let's rewind the week and see how some of these runs have gone. And then we'll come back. We'll finish off this Sunday long run and talk a little bit more about what I've got out of the week. Day three in this week running with purpose. Quick update on the week so far. I didn't carry the GoPro Monday or yesterday. Monday was a steady run. It was eight and a half kilometers consisting of a 2k warm-up, 4k at steady pace and a 2.5k cool down it was a continuous run. The steady component 445 to 430 per kilometer average. A little bit quicker than probably what I should have done. Should have been more around that 440, 445 but felt okay and I finished that session off with four by about 100 meter strides, around about oh, 330, 320 per kilometer average pace. Yesterday was the regular speed session, and I did struggle a little bit yesterday. It was humid as fuck. We did four by three minutes on, one minute off, one minute on, one minute off. Did a similar session about three months ago and yesterday I was a little bit slower about 250 meters short of where I was three months earlier it was about an 11k all up day by the time I did the warm-up cool down so we're now at Wednesday and 
this is just a easy peasy run. One minute. Really just keeping the pace really low, aiming for 12, 15k, somewhere in there. A little bit cooler today, but it's all about just taking it nice and cruisy. Just a real recovery after a couple of good runs to start the week. Windy. I can go a little more, especially with this wind giving me a decent push. there 15k guys but I did get a bit warm that last 3k with the wind behind me so I was a little bit quicker those last 3k because that wind was pushing me pretty hard but I didn't feel like I was putting in any more effort three days into this run with purpose week uh, really enjoying it it's just nice mixing it up and going out on every run with a purpose Day four, and going to do a little bit of tempo work today. Plan is after I've done this warm up, stretches, drills, and strides, three by 10 minutes with a two minute standing recovery between each. Aim will be around about 430 per kilometer average. So nothing too strenuous, I hope and it should be quite manageable but it is a little bit breezy so we'll see how we go when we get down to the esplanade so i've hit the esplanade and it's uh here yeah, quite windy so it's going to make it interesting doing them into the wind but that's okay it's all about getting the pace right Oh, that wind makes it interesting. <laughs> Two minutes standing rest, but walking, and then we head back. Tailwind this time.
decent push with that wind. Last one. Done. Holy hell. Whew. Oh, that's got to help somehow. Whew. Whew. Oh. The plan with these tempo sessions is to gradually decrease the rest period so that it all mashes in together to one 30 minute tempo and then eventually start gradually increasing that length of time for the tempo but I don't think that's going to be happening for a little while I found the pace comfortable but I'm just not at that stage where I could sustain that pace for probably 30 minutes so I'll keep chipping away maybe just keep the rest periods at the same length for a little while and maybe even consider just dropping that pace a little bit. Um, like I said, I did find the 430s comfortable. I was a little bit quicker on a couple of them because uh, it was a little bit hard to judge the pace with that wind. Yeah, see how we go next time with that session and then uh, might make a decision on whether I either stick to the 430s or whether I just adjust that pace a little bit. This bubbler is always hot. Holy moly, <sighs> long run done, 20k. That could be the longest run since Tarawera last February. So that's one week shy of 12 months. Whew, I'll have to check on Strava, but pretty sure I haven't been 20k since Tarawera. All right, that's the first week of running with a purpose. And I've got to say that I have Looked forward to every run this week. Mind you, that one was pretty tough. Could have paced it a little bit better. I'm gonna run out of light, guys. It's about seven o'clock at night, so hopefully I'm not gonna to be too dark, but week of purpose, good exercise. Not jumping into a plan or a program or a training block, like I said, but this is a good way to ease back into something like that. Just give your runs some structure, whether it be easy pace, steady pace, speed session whatever but just give it some sort of purpose uh, you know I had that two months of just running for running sake to get my mojo back this week I've really looked forward to each session because I know what I have to achieve and I think I've done pretty well uh, just starting to wake the legs up again I have really struggled with some speed the faster sessions so just going to ease back into it and hopefully over the course of the next few weeks that um, I will be able to just get more used to running that sort of speed that I've been doing this week. In terms of a training block, probably won't jump into a training block until, what have we got over my June? Probably mid to late March and that'll give me about 10 to 12 weeks to get ready for that Gold Coast Half Marathon which will be a goal race. So until then, I'll keep giving each run a purpose and just keep trying to mix things up as well. So the trick over the next six or so weeks will be just to keep things interesting. All right guys, hope you've enjoyed this video and really do appreciate it if you've made it all the way through to this point. If you have made it through to this point, drop me a comment down below and put 
a emoji, oh, what should we say? A smiley face, how about that? All right, guys, wherever you are, run well, run safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you in the next video. Take care. Hooroo.